will participate in parades, marches, and church services across the metro area to honor the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Channel 2's Darren Moore reports from Ebenezer Baptist Church in Northeast Atlanta at the site of the 49th annual commemorative service. The service starts around 10 o'clock this morning, but other churches in the metro area held their own services on Sunday to honor Dr. King. 32 years in a row, Clayton County held its annual church service. Dozens came out to celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He has done so much for this country. He actually changed the course of history. And I personally am serving in the Georgia State Senate because much blood was shed for my right to, to vote and also to serve. Sunday was a day of resistance in Georgia's 4th Congressional District. Congressman Hank Johnson led the charge. Enthusiastic uh, uh, large group of people here to uh, show solidarity and to, um, and to move forward together in unity. In addition to honoring Dr. King, the house where he was born is open again after several months of repairs. But you can only tour part of the home. We went ahead and stabilized the entire first floor, which would give us an opportunity to now allow more people to come into the home. It's been 30 years since Yvette McNeil toured the birthplace of Dr. King. Never forget our history. Never forget what the people before us marched for. And like every year, there will be plenty of marches and parades all across the metro area. Ohio Governor and former President. Canada John Kasich is expected to be in Atlanta today as part of the annual King Day observance and he's set to join Dr. Bernice King and others at the King Center for a discussion on race relations starting at 5 30 p.m.